What's up YouTube? Uh, here with another video. I was doing the 50 pickup and I, at the same time I was doing the 70 and a half Camaro. So I finally finished the 70 and a half Camaro. I hope you can see it. Let me see if I can try to make the light a little better or something. Alright, here it is. If this video doesn't come out good, I'll shoot it again. If I've never had the clear coat turn yellow with Duplicolor. It kind of got a little yellow haze on the hood. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a little, little haze. The model, I mean, it came out okay. Nothing fit right. This model, the 17 half Camaro model, the AMT is just got its issues but all in all it came out pretty clean I built one before and I messed the suspension up uh, because I tried putting it together after I put the sub frame on the, the body and then just fell apart but this time I did it a little different I, I put it all together and then stuck it on the on the body and it came out pretty clean I don't like the way the headers fit to the side pipes, but but that's what it is, and I wanted the side pipes, so Let's see if you guys can see everything. It's pretty detailed, nice and clean build. It's just a clean, clean build. Traction bars. One thing I didn't do was paint the gas tank in the back, but. I did have a lot of issues just to get to this point, so I put a couple things from a photo etch kit on there. I didn't get too crazy. I wanted to keep some of the other photo etch stuff for the other Camaro I have in my closet. I got a, I bought another 17 half Camaro. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking about pro stringing it, but this video is not going to be good. can't really tell because it's silver on the car and the photo etch you can it kind of blends in Better try something here is that better yeah it is a little bit there you go yeah that's a little better huh I didn't stick the tag in the back. Oh, I'll do that later. I had to turn the spindles upside down. The front ones because the car sat like way high. And turning them upside down tended to work a little bit. There we go, it's got some photo edge stuff in there. The motor. It's pretty basic. I wired it. I ran a fuel line. I don't know if you can see the fuel line, but there it is. There you go. Let's see if a little light might help there. There you go. A few lines ran. There you go. It's pretty much it. I mean, I'm. I'm not like. Uh, it's not one of my favorite ones, but it, it came out okay. It's a nice shelf model. I ain't gonna put it in a show or nothing. Side pipes, I don't like the way they came out. And I sh if I would have seen this bit, anybody builds it, see those little dimples on the side pipes? 
fill them in before you put them on the car. Do yourself that favor. I didn't see them until after I started sticking them on the car. I thought the body would hide it, but... But that's pretty much it. The car's done. All right, let's put this one aside, and I will show you my next project. There you go. Well, that's what I'm doing next. I'm pretty much going to do it like the box. The color's a little different. I bought this stuff. I'm going to try to see how that is on the interior. It's really it's real vinyl stuff and for the top. And, of course, I always use that for primer. There's Detail Master uh, distributor kit. I, I'm thinking about getting the black one. Because I don't know if I'm going to put the blue one on there. And I've already washed everything. So I separate mine like body and, and the big parts there. And then anything that goes in the bottom of the car is in here. And then the interior is down there. And the motor stuff is in here. But everything's washed and ready to go well that's it YouTube I will have another video when I make some progress alright guys have a good weekend